saved you. Gee, that's swell photography. Well, we'd better get back to the hotel and get our things packed, because the boat sails at 12 o'clock tonight. Not for me, it doesn't. What do you mean? I've decided to stay a while. In fact, if my plans work out right, I may never go back. Well, you've got to go back or we'll lose our job at the fish market in Des Moines. So the what? There are plenty of fish markets here in Paris. Uh, garçon? Yes, monsieur. Uh, another glass of milk and two fresh straws. You know what? I think you are hiding something from me. <laughs> Candy is sweet. This is something I sent you to eat. Olive. Oh, oh it's too funny. But the flowers are beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Who is he? He's the American guest number four. But we must not ridicule his generosity. Really, he and his friend are very kind. Photograph. You're welcome. And for the beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. Oh, shucks. It, it was just the fall. <laughs> and the delicious chocolate. Well, I thought maybe you might want something to nibble on while you were smelling the flowers. Oh. <laughs> 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 What are you so happy about? Stanley, can you keep a secret? Sure. I'm in love. You don't tell me. Who is it? The most gorgeous creature in the world. Hmm. Georgette, the innkeeper's daughter. Well, I don't blame you. She sure is a swell dish. She certainly... Yes, sir. Don't call her a dish. She's the girl and I'm going to marry. Get a load of this diamond ring. Boy, it sure is a load. <laughs> yes, sir. Say, when are we going to get married? Just as soon as I ask her. Why don't you ask her now? Then we can all go out and celebrate. That's just what I intended to do. We'll get cleaned up and I'll go down and pop the quest. That's a good <laughs> idea. I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun now. You sure can. Thank you. I never saw anything like What are you doing with that cushion? Well, I keep on bumping my head. See? Move it in front of the window where you can stand up. One could be so stupid as to stand there and continually bump their head is beyond me. Oh! oh. Why don't you stand in the window? Why don't you mind your own business? Oh. Well, it is always a holiday of some sort, eh? 
Put on. It's this. The girl thinks he's funny. Yes, this one, yes. But remember, Georgette, you are a married woman. And Francois is a little bit jealous. Oh, Papa. <laughs> he's not serious. Oh, yes. It's just the American way of having oh, fun. Oh, yes, yes, huh? my be. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 you girls. There's plenty of Come, 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 Oh, it's so good to see you. After such a long time, why didn't you let us know you were coming? I want to surprise Georgette. Where is she? Oh. Georgette! Georgette! Yes, Papa. Uh. Francois! Oh, God. Oh, my darling Georgette. I've waited every day, every hour, every minute. My poor Francois. I was worried about you way out in that lonely post in Morocco. Oh, it was lonely, terribly lonely, but that's all over now. I've got great news for you. I made arrangements for you to join me when I go back. Oh, Johnny, I'm so happy. You must be hungry. I'll get you something to eat. Well, how about a nice cool drink? Well, that's great. It'll just put me in the mood. Yes, sir. <sighs> and I would like a bottle of wine and bring three glasses. Three glasses? Uh, we thought maybe you'd like to join us. <laughs> you know, I feel as fidgety as a jitterbug. You do? Yeah. What's the matter? Well, I'm nervous. You know, Stanley, this will be the first time I've ever been married. <laughs> Say, that's a good time. Shh. Go on. Why don't you? Oh, go on, tell her. What's the matter? You're scared? I'll tell her for you, eh? I know just how you feel. Let me fix it for you. I can fix it just as easy. Say, he's got something to tell you. Something to tell me? Yeah, he's nuts about you. Nuts? Just plain nuts. Oh, wait. No, I don't mean that. I mean he's crazy about you. He's going to marry you. Aunt Jolly. Go on, stop coughing. You want to marry me? <laughs> well... That is, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, I'm just here to make fun of me. No, he's not kidding. He's on the level. Aren't you, Ollie? I certainly. I was never more sincere in my life. That's very nice of you, I'm sure. But that can never be. Oh, won't you give me one chance, Georgia? Go on, why don't you? Is there someone else? Oh, yes. Very much so. I'm so sorry. Well, that's that. No use crying over split milk. Well, I guess we'd better be going, eh? Come on, we'll... You go ahead. What's the matter? Aren't you going out with me? I want to be alone. necessary, I report to headquarters. Will you be back right away? Just as quick as I can.
Don't worry about it. You'll get over it, all right? To think that this would happen to me, just at a time in my life when I needed something real, something wholesome, something tender. Why don't you try a nice, fat, juicy steak? That'll make you feel better if you have something to eat. You don't understand. Get me some swelling salts. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. <sighs> else I can do for you? Yes. Leave me alone. <coughs> Don't talk to me like that after all the hospital I've given you. Try to give you candy and nice fat juicy steak. I've waited on you with your hands and feet. Try to tell you that there's plenty more girls. You don't have to worry about that. No. If I felt as bad as you, I'd go and drown myself. Stanley, you've given me an idea. What? I'm going to follow your advice. Good. And I... drown myself. Oh, wait a minute now. Listen, I, I was only kidding. This I... is no time for kidding. I know, but don't you think you ought to think it over? Have you ever been drowned I before? I have thought it... it over. And since Georgette has given me the air, I have nothing left to live for. Oh, don't be silly. What do you mean, I... don't be silly? This is a far, far better thing I do now than I have ever done before. Well, I... Standing so... my name dragged into this. Yeah. What? What's this for? Now, when I count three, we'll both jump in. What have I got to jump in there for? I'm not in love. So that's the kind of a guy you are. After all I've done for you, let me jump in there alone. Do you realize that after I'm gone, that you just go on living by yourself? People would stare at you and wonder what you are. And I wouldn't be here to tell them. There'd be no one to protect you. Do you want that to happen to you? I never thought of that. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, Ollie. I didn't mean to be so dispolite. That's all right, Stanley. Let bygones be bygones. This is going to be easier than you think. Now move this over here for me. Don't do that. 
Are you ready? Goodbye, Ollie. Goodbye, Stanley. One. Two. Ollie. What? I just thought of something. Listen, you remember once you were telling me that when we passed away, we'd come back on this earth in some other form, like a bird or a dog or a horse or something? Oh, you mean reincarnation. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, now that we're going to go, what would you like to be when you come back? I don't know. I've never given it much thought. I like horses. I guess I'd like to come back as a horse. Huh. What would you like to be when you come back? Oh, I'd rather come back as myself. I always got along swell with me. I... You can't come back as yourself. Now, come on and stop wasting my time. Are you ready? Goodbye, Ollie. Goodbye. One. Two. Ollie, just thought of something. Do you think the water's deep enough? Maybe you might bump your head if you just... Well, I never thought of that.
Lieutenant, close order drill for the first platoon. Fast. These clothes sure don't fit you very well, do they? Well, they'll be all right for now. We only use them for a few days until I forget. That's right, too. Left time. Left. Right shoulder. Now assign you to your duties. Reveille at five, you dress quickly, make up your bunks and get ready for inspection. Inspection until seven. Ten minutes for breakfast. You drill until one and march until four. What about lunch? You'll have that while marching. You have inspection until six. Fifteen minutes for mess, kitchen duties until ten, inspection until eleven, then taps. That is all. If we have to do all that, you won't have time to forget. Why don't you tell him? Uh, we, how much do we get for all this week? 100 centimes a day. Well, that's not bad. Uh, how much is that in American money? Oh, American money? Well, it's equivalent to about three cents a day. Of course, it varies with the rate of exchange. Well, how much do we get for overtime? There ain't gonna be any overtime. If you think that you're gonna get that much work out of me for three cents a day, brother, you are crazy. Is that so? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and that goes for me, too. Because we don't work for less than 25 cents a day. Do we, Ollie? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh.
Fish, fish. Get back to work. <laughs> Haven't I got enough trouble without you making it tougher? Well, it's your own fault. If you hadn't fallen in love with Georgette, we wouldn't be here. Wouldn't have to Will do you what? stop reminding me of that? Here I am trying to forget, and you keep talking about it all the time. Now, here's another day wasted. Well, maybe you don't try hard enough. If you can't forget, why don't you try and pretend to forget? How can anybody pretend to forget? Well, I know if it was me, I'd sit down and, and relax. I'd close my eyes, and I'd concentrate, and I'd think of nothing. Wouldn't be long then. That's what I'd do. Say, I think you've got something there. I know I've got something. Why don't you take a whirl at it? Now, don't think of anything. I won't. I know it's tough to forget a swell gal like that. Gorgeous hair and lovely eyes. Beautiful teeth. Ruby lips. Mm. Gorgeous. I can see her now. Oh, oh, oh. So can I. Will you shut up? How can I concentrate when you keep talking about her all the time? Now keep quiet. Let me alone. Now sit down. If you don't stop bothering me, I'm going to punch you in the nose. Didn't I tell you to quit that? You'll hear about this later. Get through with that washing, the cook wants you to manicure them vegetables for tomorrow's stew. I beg your pardon? You heard. Well, can you beat that? How do you think we're going to do Stanley, all this washing? Stanley, I feel something coming over me. You do? A miracle has happened. What? I've completely forgotten. You mean you've forgotten Georgette? Who's Georgette? Gee, that's swell. Now we can finish the washing and we can go home. That is nothing. We're going now. Now you're talking. Absolutely. And I found them asleep. And when I told them to go back to work, they threw wet laundry in my face. Oh, they did, eh? Well, I'll show them what it means to disobey my orders. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Gee, I'm sure glad to get out of this joint. Me too. Have you got everything? Uh-huh. Now we'll go over to that commandant guy and tell him we're through. And at the same time, I'll give him a piece of my mind. I don't blame you. 
three cents a day. Ha! Left oh, turn! Oh. Left! Turn out the guard and place them both under arrest! Yes, sir! Say, what's the big idea of keeping us waiting? You know what? What? He's not here. Well, of course he's not here. Well, let's go look for him. Look nothing. I'll leave him a note. Oh, I wouldn't bother to leave him a note. Just leave him a P.S. Oh. It's good enough for him. Now he can put that in his pipe and smoke it. Maybe he doesn't smoke a pipe. Well, whatever he smokes it. Well, you've got to be careful about those things. In the note, Ollie. I said plenty, and if I could have spelled raspberry, I'd have told him a lot more. That'll learn him three cents a day. Right. Never during my army career have I been so grossly insulted. Just wait till I get my hands on them. Thank you. Goodbye. 
Let no one pass through that gate, no matter what happens. Yes, sir. Come on. Say, we're not going to take a plane, are we? <laughs> I should say not. I don't know, but I know what keeps me down. Me too. Good old terracotta for me any time. Promiscuously. What? Josette, darling. Mm. Now I'm so happy. At last I'm here with you. Have you missed me? Every day has been a year, darling. I'll bring the car for you. Wait here, just a moment. Could you tell us the way to the railroad depot? Mr. Hardy! Georgette! So you've changed your mind. Darling, I forgive you everything. <laughs> Say, I thought you said you'd forgotten it. Don't be silly. How could I forget my little Georgette? Oh. Oh, dear. I understand. Stanley, we wish to be alone. Come on. Go ahead. Come on. Oh. 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 What's the big idea? The idea is that this lady happens to be my wife. Oh, is that so? Your wife? Yes, you would be homewrecker. Dr. Dr. please don't. He did not understand. Kindly step into the car, my dear. I want to speak to this gentleman alone. Now, once more, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Keep away from my wife. If I ever see or hear of you being in her presence again, I'll see to it that your worthless carcass lies sizzling in the desert sun at the mercy of the vultures. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, mister, you don't have to worry about us. We're leaving right now, aren't we, Ollie? We certainly are. Yes, sir. All in. Who is he talking to? Fall in! What do you mean, fall in? We're through. Didn't you get our note? Yes, I got your note, and when you signed it, you signed your own death warrant. You're under arrest for desertion. Now, fall in! Well, we... Throw them into jail and have the guard to keep a close watch on them. Yes, sir. Fall in! Fall! Two deserters! Deserters, eh? Come on, I'll show you to your suite. Get in. Hey, come on, you. What's this? Get in. Don't push me. Revolution, eh? Good, good, good. Huh. I'll see you at sunrise. I'll, um, um, I'll show them where to get off at. What did we do? What did you do? Sure. Why, you know... What are you... Get in there! Get in there! Hey, mister. What? You forgot your keys. Look. Why don't you keep your mouth shut? Hmm. Prisoners have been found guilty and will be shot at sunrise. There's a nice pickle we're in. Shot at sunrise. 
I hope it's cloudy tomorrow. Say, Ollie. What? Do you still want to come back as a horse? I don't care if I never come back. <laughs> Will you hurry? This is our last chance. Why do I have to always do everything? Yes. Always me. <laughs> me, me. But you don't. Never you.
Bring the prisoners. Yes, sir. All right. Come on, you. The sun's up. Come on. have escaped. What? The prisoners have escaped? Then find them. Yes, sir. I want both those prisoners brought back dead or alive. Call out the entire post if necessary. I wonder what time it is. Now, how do I know? We should be beyond the wall by now. Seems like we've been working. For I guess you're right. We'd better start digging up. It's a good idea, man. This nonsense. Don't you dare go back to Paris again and leave me alone, see? Darling. <laughs> oh, uh, bring up a bottle of that special vintage wine from the cellar, will you? Yes, sir. outside the fort. like this, you had to do that. Quick, help me get her on the bed. Get her feet. Quick, get me a glass of water. Don't do 
do that? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? What'll we say? You take up your story. I've got mine. <laughs> This morning of escape. Be sure all gates are closed and make a thorough search of the entire barracks. Whoever brings them back will be given a reward of six weeks' furlough. That's all. <laughs>
Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. Ollie, is that really you? Well, of course it's me. Gee, I'm glad to see you. 